What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the new combat ring for Necromancy. And that ring is going to be the Zorgoth's Soul Ring. You get this ring from the new Requiem for a Dragon quest. Uh, I would highly suggest doing this quest. It's actually really, really good. The story is good. There's animated cutscenes and it's overall just a phenomenal quest. So definitely go out and do that quest because I think you might like it if you like quests. But the way that you get this ring is when you complete that quest, you get the Zorgoth ring. And then for doing rituals at this new ritual site here, you will get a chance to upgrade that ring to this Zorgoth soul ring for completing the rituals. As you can see here, I was doing the manifest ectoplasm rituals and it took me about 77 rituals to get this ring. So it's definitely uh, kind of rare, but I have also seen other people say they got it on their first ritual. So maybe you'll get lucky. Uh, one tip if you want to grind out this ring as fast as you possibly can is if you come over here, instead of doing a high tier ritual like the manifest ectoplasm, you can do something like lesser essence rituals with a bunch of the speed alteration glyphs here. You can see here the speed glyphs speed up your uh, your uh, ritual speed, I guess. And um, that is a way to grind out this ring as fast as you possibly can. So uh, if you just want to go get this ring really quickly, definitely be doing that instead of these ectoplasm rituals because they take like 80 seconds each to complete. So uh, yeah. Uh, also, you don't have to do any of the little events that happen. You can just ignore them like you probably should be doing anyway. So anyway, let's come over here to Wars Retreat and talk about what this ring actually does. So as you can see here, it provides a 5% chance to generate one residual soul, uh, soul stack with each hit. Now, I'm not entirely sure how accurate this truly is. Uh, it seems like abilities like Death Skulls only give you one chance to get a soul stack, but uh, something like Blood Siphon seems to be able to give you multiple. So, um, you know, I don't exactly know how this works exactly. I mean, maybe when I was testing Death Skulls, uh, I was just getting unlucky. A 5% chance is pretty unlikely, so it is definitely reasonable to assume that I just got unlucky with my Death Skulls and never got multiple activations. But let's wear this ring here and just attack this dummy and see if we ever get some soul stacks here. So you can kind of see how this ring uh, like might work out. Uh, one thing to note is the Blood Siphon ability definitely seems to be pretty good at uh, getting residual soul stacks over the other abilities because like I said, it does seem to give you multiple activation chances where something like Death Skulls probably doesn't. But um, yeah, we'll just kind of let this Reva out here and uh, see how many soul stacks we get while I talk here. So. If you're going to be using this ring or getting this ring, you'll probably uh, wonder if this ring is worth using over something like the Reaver's Ring or the Ring of Death. And in my opinion, it really just is not worth using in its current state um, because we can assume that a residual soul is worth anywhere from like five to 8,000 damage depending on the boss that you're doing. You can see we just got our first soul stack there. Um, but yeah, you can assume that each soul stack is maybe worth about 6,000 damage uh, against bosses like Raziel, where you can use a salve and boost the damage super high. But something like a Reaver's Ring will allow your Death Skulls to crit more often, which will give you just a significant amount of extra damage whenever they do Critical Strike. Each hit of Death Skulls will be boosted by 50%, and uh, that probably comes out to about 4,000 damage per hit, which comes out to what, like 24,000 damage potentially per Death Skulls. So even one critical strike is worth way more than like almost an entire volley of souls. So, um, you know, not quite as much as a volley, but look at how uh, slow it generates these stacks. So against something like a single target boss, the Reaver's Ring is still going to be your go-to for uh, your ring slot. For AoE monsters, like uh, if you saw that Ripper Demon guide I just made, the Ring of Death I still think is going to be significantly better than the Zorgoth Ring, and the reason for that is because it gives you a 50% chance to gain 5% adrenaline, and at that specific place, we were using the Scythe ability to be generating most of our damage, and uh, we can probably assume that each Scythe cast on like three targets will be getting you somewhere around like 10 to 12,000 damage for the uh, tier one, and then up to like 36,000 damage on the tier three. So even one extra tier three scythe cast will be getting way more value than a few extra residual souls. As you can see, we're still only at 
three stacks. Um, so yeah, this ring doesn't seem to be super amazing. As you can see, uh, it doesn't generate stacks all that fast. And uh, like I just said, you're probably better off using the Ring of Death or the Reaver's Ring, depending on what you're doing. But that does bring me into a potential use case for this ring. If you're doing something where adrenaline isn't super important and you're maybe just farming like super low level monsters, for example, like the, uh, the little bedded zombie things outside of uh, Fort 4 and 3, it could potentially be better to be using the, um, the Zorgoth's ring there where you're just spamming out a bunch of soul strikes and uh, trying to AoE that way and using like the Blood Siphon. You can see we just got our five stacks, so we will dump those out. And um, yeah, so it is kind of a questionable ring in its current state. As you can see, it took that long to get uh, all five of our stacks. So that leads me to if this ring is worth getting. And in my opinion, you should definitely be getting this ring. If you guys don't know, next month we will be getting the fourth Rex Matriarch for Necromancy, and I would probably assume that that boss is going to drop an upgrade for this ring. And I think for that reason alone, it's definitely worth going out and getting your Zorgoth's ring, just so you have it ready for that update, because I could potentially see this ring getting to be very, very strong in the future, um, so I'm going to be going over a little bit of speculative effects that they maybe could add to the Zorgoth ring here to make it very strong. So one effect that I could see this ring having would be giving it some critical strike chance to kind of compete with the Reaver's ring. And I would think that if they gave you a uh, effect kind of like for each soul stack gain 1% critical strike chance, that would potentially give you up to a 5% critical strike chance, which would be the same as the Reaver's Ring, which could be definitely a pretty competitive ring slot. Uh, they could also potentially increase the chance to generate these soul stacks from like 5% to maybe like 8 to 10%, which would also make it a little bit more reliable. As you can see, it took so long to get those stacks. It's just not that great, but with a little bit higher chance, it might be quite a bit better. Um, and then the third thing to note with this ring, or the next thing to note, is going to be uh, like the other Rex Matriarch rings, there could potentially also be an enchantment that gets added to further bolster the uh, effects of this ring. Uh, so I definitely think it's worth going and getting this ring uh, in its current state. It's kind of terrible, but I think it could be really good in the future. So that's going to, uh, I guess, conclude this video. Hopefully you guys uh, maybe learned something or speculated with me a little bit. If you guys have any ideas for what this ring could do with some extra effects, definitely leave them in the comment section below. And uh, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one.